the 2024 Honda CRV prices, reviews, and specs details. Honda redesigned its popular CRV just last year, and there haven't been any significant changes for the 2024 model. Last year's overhaul included a slightly lengthened wheelbase, which increased rear seat legroom as well as max cargo space a bit. The CRV provides more than 39 cubic feet of cargo capacity behind the rear seats making it one of the most accommodating small SUVs for luggage and bulky items. A new infotainment interface and a smoother operating hybrid powertrain were also part of the updates. The notable update for 2024 is the addition of the Sport L trim level. It builds off the mid-level Sport trim with additional standard features such as leather upholstery and a power lift gate. Like the regular Sport, the Sport L comes standard with a hybrid powertrain, making it the third trim, after the CRV Sport and Sport Touring trims, to feature a hybrid. Overall, we like the 2024 Honda CRV a satisfying blend of comfort, tech, and practicality. Still, rivals such as the Hyundai Tucson, Kia Sportage, and Mazda CX-50 have closed the gap. The CRV is a benchmark for the class although not necessarily a complete standout. Be sure to read our expert rating below to see if the newest generation CRV fits your needs. There's a reason many consider the Honda CRV the benchmark small SUV for families. Its latest version pulls off this feat yet again with a smooth ride, helpful tech features, and excellent storage space. Still, competitors have improved significantly. The CRV is a good choice, but no longer the clear leader. Performance How does the CRV drive? The CRV is no track star, but it feels responsive and composed when compared with other small SUVs. The hybrid sport touring model we tested accelerated from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 8.0 seconds. That's typical for the class and you can expect a similar time for the regular 1.5-liter engine. The brakes work well in emergency situations and make it easy to stop smoothly. We also like the hybrid system smooth operation in city driving, though climbing long mountain grades can take a heavy foot. Around corners, the CRV stays composed and under control. The responsive steering offers enough feedback to give you a good sense of what's happening on the road. Comfort How comfortable is the CRV? The CRV rides well. Its suspension is soft without feeling floaty. You will feel bumps and cracks in the pavement, but it does a superb job of recovering quickly and returning to its normally smooth ride without too much intrusion. The sophisticated theme continues inside. The standard heated front seats feel plush and comfortable, though Honda still doesn't offer a ventilated option. You won't notice much noise from the road. The CRV is well insulated and feels airtight as you're driving. Our one objection is that the hybrid powertrain can get loud and unpleasant sounding, particularly if you're going up an incline. Interior How's the interior? The inside of the CRV just makes sense. There is plenty of room in both rows, and large windows give you a sense of openness that we appreciate in a small SUV. All that glass also helps with outward visibility. It's harder to see out of the back, but the CRV is Honda's wide angle rear view camera that we really like. The CRV has big door openings, and all seats are positioned at the right height. For adults to slide right in without much effort. It's also easy to get comfortable. The front row seats have a lot of adjustability fore and aft, 
while the rear seat backs are adjustable for reclining. Technology How's the tech? While a standard 7-inch touchscreen and optional 9-inch touchscreen are not exactly tops in the class, the CRV has an effective operating system that is responsive to the touch and easy to use. Wireless connectivity for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone integration is standard. The Sport Touring's integrated navigation system has basic looking maps, but otherwise provides helpful routing and guidance. The voice recognition system only comes on the top Sport Touring trim and, sadly, isn't as advanced as some competitors. But the advanced driving aids are impressive. Loads of them come standard on all CRV models, and the main ones, adaptive cruise control and lane centering steering, in particular, work exceptionally well. Storage How's the storage? The CRV has excellent cargo space for a small SUV, measuring 39.3 cubic feet behind the rear seats. While not especially deep, the cargo area has plenty of width and vertical height to help you fit bulky objects. Some great news, unlike the previous generation, this version of the CRV offers the same cargo capacity for both hybrid and non-hybrid models. You won't sacrifice storage in the name of better fuel economy. Unfortunately, Honda did take a step back with interior storage. The previous CRV had a highly configurable hollowed out center tunnel that could swallow up large handbags. Now that space has been reduced to a conventional center bin. In the second row, big door openings, easy to access attachment anchor points, and lots of space make it easy to install child safety seats. Fuel Economy How's the fuel economy? Non-hybrid versions of the Honda CRV top out at an EPA estimated 30 miles per gallon combined. For more fuel savings, the hybrid is rated up to 40 miles per gallon, with all-wheel drive that drops to 37 miles per gallon. The latter is what we tested on our real-world evaluation route. It averaged a disappointing 33.3 miles per gallon. That said, it's a highway bias route and most of its rivals also underperformed in Edmunds testing. The Kia Sportage Hybrid got 34.5 miles per gallon, for example. We saw better fuel economy in day-to-day -day driving around town, where the CRV can better take advantage of its hybrid powertrain. Value Is the CRV a good value? The CRV is well put together for its price range. The lack of shakes and rattles indicates solid build quality, and it feels both smooth and quiet on the road. Now, there is a fair bit of hard plastic throughout the cabin, but Honda does well to mask it with soft surfaces and some interesting design elements. You will pay slightly more for a CRV than many of its competitors, so if you're looking for a cheap SUV, there are better options. Considering the robust construction, we find the pricing agreeable, if not exactly enticing. Warranty coverage is only average for the class, with several rivals going a step further to protect from rust or offer better roadside assistance or complementary maintenance. Wild card. Crossovers aren't as drab as they used to be design-wise, and Honda has gone with a classy yet restrained style that leaves the CRV looking a bit generic by comparison. This SUV is about blending in, not standing out. Still, the new look definitely brings the CRV into a more modern era compared to its predecessor. It can be enjoyable to drive in spurts thanks to responsive controls and solid handling for a crossover. Practicality is first and foremost, however. As a result, the CRV should be a hit for those who shop with an arsenal of Excel spreadsheets by their side. The rest of you should go elsewhere to find inspiration and passion in a small family SUV. Which CRV does Edmunds recommend? As with last year's model, we'd opt for the EXL. Compared to the EX, the EXL comes with leather seats, a larger touch screen, a wireless